What if I told you that simply replacing the filter would dramatically reduce breathing the toxic fumes that you're exposed to from 3D printing? According to Voxel, installing the two-stage filter system along with the X filter will reduce 99.95% <laughs> of the harmful particles and VOCs that 3D printers produce. We're going to show you exactly how to install these filters along with who should be making these upgrades. Let's drop in. So this is the back of my studio space and my 3D printer setup is right here. And my whole goal was to get this as far away from my desk as possible, but my space is only so big, so they're still pretty close. Check it out. So this is my desk setup. If you're like me and you spend all day in the same space as your 3D printer, safety is a top priority and it's definitely something you need to be considering. So I reached out to my good friend who's actually been 3D printing for over 15 years. He's a lead product designer at Leatherman and he uses a 3D printer to, to print prototypes of all the projects that he works on. So I knew he'd have some great insight into what I should be considering for my office. So let's jump right in. What's going on, Mark? Hey, Landon. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course. So what do you got? So yeah, uh, Bamboo came up with these pretty awesome printers a few years back. But one thing you got to be careful of is that if you're printing anything other than PLA, they can emit some pretty nasty fumes, especially when printing like ASA or ABS or PETG. Voxels came out with a pretty clever solution. It has a HEPA 13 filter and a activated carbon layer to scrub the inside air before it leaves the printer. So for my setup here, it sounds like I don't really have to worry about outside venting. No, you can vent directly into your studio space. According to Voxel, they scrub 99.95% of all nanoplastics and ultrafine particles as well as toxic VOCs from the air, which is great if you have uh, an enclosed studio where you don't really have any outside access to fresh air as well. Well, it sounds like exactly what I need for my setup here. Should we jump into the install? Yep. Today, we're going to walk through installing a Voxel bento box two-stage filter. So step one, you're going to Take the fan shroud, take a fan, and you gotta feed these wires through these holes. Both of these will go in, like so. Step two, you're gonna take this air intake. It has these inserts in the corners, and you're gonna want to make sure that these cables are coming out of this side. Step three, you're gonna take these long mounting screws and you're going to feed them through these fan holes and you want to line up the inserts and the fan mount you can see here keep them relatively loose until you get them both in otherwise they're going to be hard to line up do the other one just the opposite corner same thing there you have that all attached step four you're going to see this little L. This is for Bamboo Labs only. It will correspond with an L that's in the machine. When you come over here, if your printer has its bed anywhere other than its maximum height, you're going to have to move this bed out of the way because you need to get some working space. So first thing you want to do is press the slider tab. I go to the bed. One of these represents either one millimeter or 10 millimeters at a time. So we want it to go fast. So I'm going to give it a couple hits and it will stop when it goes its distance and you can't over travel it'll stop anyways step four there's this little l and there's also a little l that corresponds down there and you want to line that up it'll kind of just lock right in you want to get those wires out of the way for now and then you want to take that little screw that was in this bag here and screw this in just one screw it's all it needs to hold step five you're going to take your two wires here and there's a little tiny hole feed it through and that will poke out. So now that you have the wires through, you just want to make sure they lay flat and are up against that back corner there so they don't interfere. They're pretty much out of the way. Here's a pro tip. We did a little DIY with some conduit. Just cut a piece about eight inches, wrap the wire with it, super quick and easy. Step six, you're going to want to take the two wires, twist the red ones together. That's your positive. And on this little connector there's a plus sign you want to put them into this little fitting right there take a little screwdriver phillips tighten them up take your two black leads or your negatives push these together a 
little tug should be good. And this connector right here goes to your power supply. Plugs in like that. Step seven, you want to actually put the carbon filter on first. There's little magnets down here. And they click right in, and then the HEPA filter goes on top. Snaps in like that, and you're good to go. Now we're going to install the Voxel X filter. Back here is where the stock bamboo filter is. Just want to pull the door off, and there's a little tab you pull. And you can see right here, little tab. This is the stock filter. It's full of activated carbon. Works well, but uh, for what we're doing, we want better. So same thing here. You have these are the two. You can see a comparison. It goes in just the same way. Tab on top. HEPA filters goes on top. Little tab out of the way. And there you go. So when you're all said and done, this is how it looks. Here's the bento box. And the X filter is up here. Now I'm going to plug in the bento box. You can definitely hear it with the door open. Now I'm going to close the door. But also keep in mind when the printer's printing, it's actually louder than the fan. So I think when it's all said and done, you don't hear anything. Well, that's about it for this one. It's time for me to get back to work. Thanks so much, Mark, for coming in and helping me get everything upgraded and figured out. Hope you all liked the video. Let me know if you upgraded your filter because you share the same space as your printer. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be rolling out new videos all the time. And until next time, remember, no copy. No work. Two stage uh, bento. Okay. I got to sit down for this one. <laughs> Let's go install the. Uh... <laughs> okay. Voxel bento box two stage build stage. It's a lot of voxel hey, bento. Let's go install the voxel bento box two stage air filter system. No. <laughs> okay. Yep, let's go install the Voxo Bento Box two stage filter air system. No air? No. No, it's just no air. <laughs> yep, let's go install the Vento. Vento. <laughs> All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yep, let's go install. Do I say yep? Is that. Or I could say it. Oh, well, yeah, because like, I think I said, All right, yeah. should we go do the install? Yep. Box. Box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine, you can cut it out. Okay, it's getting hot in here. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna